guys! So today is the readathon, um, the first day of the readathon, watchathon thing that I announced like a month ago. And I'm gonna vlog more later, but I'm about to go to my fiance's parents' house. So I just wanted to show quickly the books that I picked out. So the first book I'm currently reading, um, and this is actually like this is basically my goal for the readathon is to just finish this book and then whatever else is kind of extra. So right now, I'm not super far in. So I'm starting this readathon on page um 160 um in American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I love Neil Gaiman's writing and uh I I still haven't read this yet. And so, um, this has quite a lot left. It's like at least 520 pages in this edition. So that's like my main goal. And then I also have, um, Anasi Boys by Neil Gaiman. This is kind of like, I think, a companion novel. And this one's quite a bit, um, less thick than the other one. And so, um, that's what I'm planning on getting to after... American Gods. And look at this cover. I love the spider on the cover. Those um, covers are my favorite. They're awesome. And then, just in case I want to read something different, this is Mother Nature is Trying to Kill You by Dan Riskin. And it's about, I guess it says, a lively tour through the dark side of the natural world. This one's like 200 pages long. And it's a nonfiction book. And it seems kind of interesting, so I'm still going with like kind of the dark theme in nonfiction too. Hey guys, I've only read like a hundred pages. But here is Kira. Kira. I'm taking a break to hang out with the cat. Shinsi, she's so pretty. Hey guys, I'm home and the lighting here is atrocious. But, um, I only managed, I think, the last clip I said I read about 100 pages. And right now, I am on page, if I can do this, I am on page 272, so I didn't get much more done after that. Um, and it's already, like, 3 o'clock right now in the afternoon. Um, I started reading maybe at 10 in the morning or so, um, but... I get easily distracted around other people, around a lot of things going on, but I had to go over there today because um, this is the day we had to do laundry. Um, so, you know, I couldn't concentrate as well as normal, um, but now that I am home and can, you know, spend some more quiet time reading, hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more done. So right now, I'm going to keep on reading American Gods and have some of this Chili Mac leftover stuff. Um, American Gods, the book itself, it's a little confusing. Um, I enjoy the writing, but I, I don't really know, like, I feel like I don't understand a lot of what's going on. And I don't know if that's because I haven't been reading it well enough. So I hope it will, like, make more sense later on in the book. I don't know. But I guess we will see, so I'll update you later. Hola! So I've been reading more of American Gods, although I still haven't gotten super far. Um, I'm only on page 328, so I still have like 200 pages left of the book, and it's now 7 o'clock. But um, I just like exercised because I was just feeling like I just needed to move around more because I've just been kind of sitting all day and reading and not like doing anything active so I exercised I got my PJs on and yeah now I'm really comfy I have um these are cat PJs <laughs> totally not goth but um I don't really have goth pajamas it's been really slow just I've been reading it really slowly. It's one of those books. Some books I can just plow through, but this one I feel like I have to take time to kind of think about it more. And some parts are not interesting, and then some are. 
This middle part has been kind of the most uninteresting for me, unfortunately. So I'm really hoping I'll start to enjoy it a bit more. I'm hoping I can gain some more love for it as I go on. Hey guys, it's the next day, um, the next morning, although it's 10 o'clock, so not that early in the morning. Uh, I want to give you an update on what happened the rest of the day. So, I didn't finish American Gods. I, I got to page 440, so um, about 90 pages left to go of the book. And um, I was, that, at that point it was like 11 o'clock and I was really tired. <laughs> I don't know, I was just so tired, I could barely keep my eyes open, so I kept being like, you know, trying to rest my eyes. Which, of course, resting your eyes really means you want to sleep. So I just decided, you know what, I have to go to bed. Um, I wanted to finish the book really bad, but I knew it would take probably like two more hours to do so. What I'm planning on doing today is I want to finish the book today, and then I'll start the watchathon. Um, I'm planning for the first uh, movie to do for the watchathon. I'm planning to watch uh, the 1938 or something like that version of Dracula, the one with Bella Lugosi. Um, I really want to watch that version. Um, and then I'll kind of go from there. There's a few other. I want to watch um, The Crow, definitely, and some other things. But right now, I'm just going to finish this book so I can finally have it completed. It is 12.30 and I have finally finished American Gods by Neil Gaiman and so now I am finally ready to actually start the watchathon portion even though it's afternoon and I probably won't watch too many movies but yeah um I mean I enjoyed the the last 150 pages or so more than the middle part and I enjoyed the first maybe a hundred or so pages more than the middle part. Um, I enjoyed the book overall, but um, I guess it just wasn't, uh, it, it was a lot different than Neil Gaiman's other novels. And not, I think it just wasn't for me. Um, like, I don't know if it was just the themes or just like how abstract the concepts were in the novel, but it just didn't speak to me like I guess it spoke to a lot of people and that a lot of people really enjoyed about it. Um, um, there's a TV series, maybe I'll try that out and maybe that will kind of like help me kind of wrap my mind around some of the things going on in the book, but um, it, it wasn't as good to me as, you know, like some of his other novels were just, I really, really enjoyed a lot more. And so, yeah, I am still glad I read the book though. So I just finished watching the 1931 version of Dracula and it was pretty short, like 74 minutes I think it said on the thing, but um, yeah, I thought the portrayal of Dracula was pretty creepy, pretty a pretty good um, portrayal, and Renfield was a really good portrayal. Um, it was a lot different than the book, like a lot a lot different than the book. Um, I think it's because it was adapted from a play version, like a stage play, and not, um, as much from Bram Stoker's, or Bram Stoker's actual book, but I did really enjoy it, and I thought it was kind of, like, Dracula's facial expressions and stuff were really <laughs> pretty, like, like the eyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really liked it. So right now I'm just going to probably, um do a little bit of housework that I need to get done and then I think I will watch The Crow. Hey guys, it's several hours later and I just finished The Crow and I loved it. It was um, really good and actually really touching, really emotional, which I was not expecting. So um, yeah, it was more, it wasn't like I guess thinking of the name and stuff, I thought it would be kind of like a like a horror movie or something, but it's more, it's like a thriller, revenge type story. I just, 
I loved it. I, I didn't think I would love it that much, but I loved that movie. That was so great. Um, yeah, movie about a person um, coming back to life and taking revenge. Total, total awesome <laughs> emotional movie. So yeah, really surprised by that. So I think I might watch Stardust. Um, because I love the story the book portrays and hopefully the movie does a good represent has a good representation representation of that so yeah that's what I'm going to do after I make some food and stuff so I will be back to let you know how that goes so I have finished watching Stardust and it was like a, a two a little over two hour movie which was surprising because the book was like 250 pages so um, the book, the book had a lot jam-packed into those 250 pages, though. Um, but yeah, I really, I enjoyed the movie. Um, not as much as I enjoyed the book, but I think the movie probably, um, I mean, my, my, um, mind is a little foggy on all the details of the book, but I think the movie was a bit different than the book, and, but I still, you know, I still like the story. I thought it was really sweet and really, you know, like a really nice fairy tale. I really don't want to watch another movie, honestly. I actually want to read. So I think I'm going to pick a book to start reading next. And I'm just going to read for most of the remaining night before I sleep.